Jacob.
<laughs> First, before we get started, gotta make sure everybody has their phones off and in their pockets as we want to respect the wishes of the bride and just live in the moment. Okay. Who gives his blessing for this woman to be married to this man? I do. Is there anybody else? I almost had to use it myself. <laughs> My turn. Okay. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Let me just... Oh, let me just hold this for a minute. Perfect. Great. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, it was a little dusty. Well, we're finally here. <laughs> and I don't know how she expects me to make it through this because I'm not. You're great. Oh, we'll see. To everyone, thank you for being here. It means the world to both of them. Your presence serves as a symbol of the love and support. She looks at me and I get teary-eyed. <laughs> the love and support that each of you offer and enables them to officially start their life together, surrounded by the dearest people that are most important to them. Ashley and Ed, on behalf of everyone here, we welcome you to this moment in your lives and to the place you have earned in each other's hearts. We join with you on this day as you commit before God and everyone present that from this point forward, you shall live as one. Take a moment to breathe. You made it. Suits, dresses, <laughs> dinner, music, guests, hotel, decorations, everything is Look in each other's eyes and really take a pause. This is about to be the best night of your life. Take a moment to think about how you're feeling. Draw strength from each other and allow yourselves to let go of the stress, to be here together in this moment and for the rest of the night. The best type of faith, the faith that is genuine and purposeful, is that of a relationship with God. A relationship that is different for everyone a love that is shown in ways specific to you. The best relationship is one that you build with him alone, a safe place to pray, talk, or simply be in his presence. I believe that we connect so strongly to this type of faith because it leads with love. We know how to love and have the ability to love because of him. As said in John uh, chapter 1, <laughs> verse 4, I apologize, I lost my spot. We love because he first loved us. We would not be here without him. We would not love without him. Where there is love, you can get through anything. You will never be alone. You're looking at me again. <laughs> God allows us to not only feel this love, but to give that love as well. To quote my wife, it doesn't matter what people believe or if they follow a religion. What matters is that the, this love God created still runs through their veins, and it must be protected and cherished at all costs. Their love shines just as bright. God's love is what brought us here today and what will carry both of you through life. So before we continue, I would like to introduce Greg, a lifelong friend and supporter to Ed and someone Ashley was able to start her faith journey with. Good afternoon, everyone. I will be doing a prayer. So if anybody, everybody wants to bow their heads, close their eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, as we gather here today to celebrate the union of Ashley and Ed in marriage, we come before you with grateful hearts. Thank you for the love that has brought them together, for the journey they've taken to reach this moment, and for the commitment they are about to make. We ask for your blessing upon this marriage. May their love continue to grow 
deepen and flourish with each passing day. May their hearts be filled with patience, understanding, and kindness as they navigate the joys and challenges of life together. Grant them the strength <clears throat> to overcome any obstacles they may face and the wisdom to always choose love and forgiveness. We pray for the families and friends gathered here today. May we offer our support, encouragement, and unconditional love to sustain them in the journey as a married couple. Lord, bless this marriage with joy, laugh, laughter, and an unbreakable bond. May Ashley and Ed continue to grow in faith and love, drawing closer to you and to each other with each passing day. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> All right, for those of you who may not know me, you should, <laughs> but I am Ashley's brother and honestly, her favorite sibling. Sorry, Alicia and Sage, but you guys don't have a microphone. <laughs> Ashley, I'm not sure why you trust me to get through this ceremony, but thank you for choosing me. It is my greatest honor to be marrying you today. Dang it. <laughs> All right, Ashley's been waiting for this day since she could walk, always playing bride and groom with Emily and Alicia, watching our parents' wedding tape on repeat, and planning her future day to a T. I'm glad you're so go with the flow, Ed, because this day was planned before she even knew you existed. I really struggled finding the words to say. I had a million thoughts. A stress migraine that honestly still is, still is not done. And enough Coors banquets to get the job done. But at the end of all those, Sorry. but at the end of all those jumbled thoughts, there was only one thing I realized about you that has never changed your heart. No matter how many fights we had, you were still there. <laughs> if a friend needed you, you dropped everything to be there for them, and you still do. Your love for others is so strong, so fierce. Ed, you are not gaining a wife today. You are gaining a lifelong friend, companion, pain in the ass, that will never leave your side. And from a, her brother to you, I expect you to be the same for her because a love like that is one in a million. Over the years, I tried to get to know Ed as much as he allows someone to. But it wasn't until I met Larry that I truly started to see behind his walls. Larry let me know when he loved Ashley. Over and over. Yes. <laughs> he let me know when he wanted to marry her. He let me know the slightest hints of his proposal plans, as small as they were. He let me in. I learned what a great man Ed was. The morals and values he holds is everything I wanted for Ashley. She needed Ed. She needed someone to trust her, to have faith in her, to believe in her, and who would love her unconditionally. <laughs> nice bail. <laughs> it's very cute. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, I've always been a very protective brother. I'm always worried about them, always wanting to make sure they are okay. As time went on, I realized I had to worry a little bit less. He was taking care of her. I trusted him to make sure she was okay. Today, Ed, I'm giving you the reins, but I'm still here. <laughs> I trust that you will not hurt her, that you will keep her safe, and that you will give her all the love in this world. Love is a choice. You choose to love each other every day through the good and the bad, the hardships and the victories. You choose to love, honor, and respect one another. You choose to communicate. It, is always, it always needs to be Ed and Ashley against whatever it is, against the problem, against anything. You are always on the same side. You choose to continuously redefine your marriage and pursue life's greatest promise. You choose to help each other up when you are down. You choose to begin each day together with love and support. You choose to never go to bed angry. You choose to fight for your love. Marriage is for this moment, when you have found the person that makes it all worth it, when you have found your forever. Wish I had a better sip for chain of pages. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put this down for a minute. Okay, can you hold this for me? Oh boy. Right here. So I have a little activity. 
Anybody can participate. I want you to take your hands as if you're praying. Okay. Your thumbs represent your parents. Your pointer finger represents your siblings. Your middle finger represents yourself. Your ring finger is your spouse. And your pinky finger is your future kids. Okay? Now take your middle finger and go inside of your hand, connecting the second middle, your middle finger. Do you want help? There you go. <laughs> your, your second knuckle. Okay? Now I want you both to move your thumbs. You can do so easily because your parents, you're supposed to move on. They're supposed to teach you how to be without them. It's going to be okay. Move your pinkies. Your job is to teach your future family, your future kids, how to be without you. Go ahead and move your pointer fingers. Although, there you go. <laughs> Although a little bit closer, they're still your siblings and they're going to live a different life. They're going to be detached. Now go ahead and move your ring fingers. You can't because your spouse is forever. <laughs> your spouse is not going anywhere. They'll always be by your side no matter how low you get. Okay. He sucks stuff, is what he's saying. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> okay, now that we know the reason behind where the ring goes, let's talk about the ring itself. Why a ring? I could go on about an endless circle with no beginning or end, but that's not really accurate, is it? There is a beginning. Because there was a beginning for both the relationship and the ring. A ring starts with raw elements, each with its own history, properties, beauty, and purpose. Over time, and with a lot of hard work, all these materials form together to make something beautiful. Love is like that. Much like the elements of a ring, a relationship starts with raw foundations. With two individuals who have lived two different lives and have many different experiences. Love comes from humble beginnings. It is the process of creating something beautiful where there was once nothing at all. So as you place these rings in a minute on your fingers, remember that they are a representation of the love you have built thus far and the love that will continue to grow. Ashley and Ed have decided to say their vows in private. Ashley's way too emotional <laughs> and Ed is way too awkward. I don't think he's looked left or right since we've started this ceremony. Laser focused. He's laser focused. <laughs> But I think there's also something special in private vows. Nobody else is in your relationship, so why do they need to be in your vows? Colin, the rings. In a moment. I'm <laughs> It's a tough job. It's a tough job. <laughs> we thought he could do it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Wow, they're good. Ed, take this ring and place it on her finger. Do you promise to remember her <laughs> eyes, love, and kindness when she won't relax and makes too many plans? I do. <laughs> Do you promise to love and cherish Ashley all the days of your life, today, tomorrow, and always? I do. Do you promise to be a companion to her in all of her successes and failures, her happiness and sadness, to always give her your unwavering support and above all else, the freedom to be Ashley? I do. <laughs> do you promise to reap any and all tax benefits as long as you both shall live? <laughs> I do. Go ahead. You almost kissed her. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Ashley, take this ring and place it on his finger. Do you promise? Do you promise to remember his arms, passion, and drive when he sleeps his days away? <laughs> no, <laughs> I do. Do you promise to love and cherish Ed all the days of your life, today, tomorrow, and always? I do. Do you promise to be a companion to him in all of his successes and failures, his happiness and sadness? To always give him your unwavering support and above all else the freedom to be Ed? I do. do you also promise to reap any and all tax benefits as long as you both shall live? I do. 
Now that you have promised to live as one, we're going to make you wait a little bit longer to kiss the bride, but we're going to seal the deal in a little bit of a different way. A unity ceremony is a representation of the start to your own family. You're not putting out one flame to join another. Ed, you are not joining Ashley's family. Ashley, you are not joining Ed's family. Rather, you are starting your own. This is the start of Ashley and Ed Bouchard. Your individual flame came from the family you grew up in. It contains your experiences and the love they shared. But once the flames meet, they will never be able to fully separate from one another. So will your lives be ever entwined from this point forward. It is important for Ashley and Ed to honor two of the people who are pillars in their lives. For without them, they would not be here today. So at this time, they would like to invite the mother of the bride and the father of the groom to come and give their final blessing, pass on their flame, and be witness to this marriage. <laughs> oh, sign first? Yeah, sign. Still ready. Crap. <laughs> Part of it. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, you're doing great. Right. What? Yeah, <laughs> oh, this is the tough oh, part. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, is it on? Yours is still it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least your candle is good. Mine's, mine won't even light. Go okay. in with the lighters. Pretend. I swear the flame's there. I see a great flame. I didn't step on it, just for the record. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to close my book. Okay. Okay, at this time, I would like to say a closing player, prayer, so if you'd like to bow your heads or do whatever you need to. Lord, you have not only given us a roadmap to what true love looks like, but you have given us your son to live it out before us. Thank you for the beautiful picture of love that Christ is to us. My prayer is that you would allow that extraordinary self-sacrifice love that Jesus demonstrated to reign in the lives of Ed and Ashley. I pray that their eyes would be set on serving one another's needs before their own. I pray that they will show one another patience in times of frustration. Help them to live in humility with one another. Keep them from being self-seeking or dishonoring one another in their words and deeds. Let their love delight in truth instead of e evil. May they protect one another, grow in trust, hope, and perseverance. May their love never fail because it is founded on you. May it be a reflection of true godly love for the world around them. In Jesus' name I pray. We're almost there, I promise. Okay, so now by the power vested in me, in the state of Colorado, I now pronounce you husband and wife.
Ed, you may finally kiss your bride. <laughs> After the ceremony, the bride and groom, along with the immediate family, are going to take some pictures. Please head over to the self after I announce them. Please head over to the self-serve bar and grab yourself a drink and some appetizers. And on the way, you will notice a table of shots. Now that Ashley and Ed have tied the knot, let's take a shot and get this party started. Not you guys, not you, not you guys. It is with great pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> they ice in us? <laughs> oh, I was like, um, hello? <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> we'll pick it up a little. <laughs> Not nice. <laughs> we will do this in just a minute. Oh, you're taking me? Oh, go ahead. Oh, hell yeah. So I'm with you, Ashley. Shut up a minute. That was a surprise. Yeah. Who planned that? <laughs> On the way out. <laughs> I don't know how I got wrapped into doing that as well. <laughs> I did. I was in the background. I didn't want you to beat me in front of everybody else. <laughs> beat me. All right, let's try this again. It is with great pleasure that I can pronounce to you Mr. and Mrs. Bouchard. <laughs> pronounce. 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 Here? Oh, I can throw it on the Yeah, good luck. Yes, <laughs> 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 <Yeah, so> too <laughs> much carbonation for you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank you. This thing is freaking heft. <laughs> Holy. We did it, boys. Oh, Good job, buddy. Oh, we made it. We made it. We made it. Thank you. Oh, what did you, how'd you do that? Oh, we cracked that. It's okay. We did it. We did it. Did you see me? You did it. You did it. Oh, you did it. Dude, these freaking sweatsuits. You bastard. <laughs> uh, Real tear jerkers wedding yeah. time. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Whose idea was the ISIS, man? I was not expecting to have to fucking chug that uh, shit. The uh, pressure was on. It's gonna be a while. We're coming. Oh. She wanted to walk down the aisle. Are you hot? Where's the fan? We're coming. She changed her mind. We were lied to. Uh oh. This is, this is an obstacle. Oh, oh. Almost there. Yeah, yeah, they were drip. You saw them? They were there, they just didn't drip. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think you did good.